Lesson 25, Session 3, page 585. Julie picks 70 berries. She gives up 40 berries to Andy. How many berries does Julie have left? Let's think about that again. Julie picks 70 berries. She gives 40 to Andy. How many does she have left? Let's do that again. Julie picks 70 berries. She gives 40 berries to Andy. How many does she have left? This time when we think about it, we're gonna fill in the numbers that we hear in those places. Julie picks 70 berries. She gives 40 to Andy. How many does she have left? So this is our mystery. This is what we're looking for right here. She has 70. She gives 40 away. So what does that mean we're going to do? Right, we are taking away. 70 minus 40 equals blank. We know that when we have a minus sign, whole minus a part equals a part. It's whole minus. When we have a plus sign, it is part plus part equals whole, okay? So whole minus tells me that 70 is my whole, 40 is a part, and blank is a part. So let's draw a picture of what 70 looks like. I don't have to draw 70 ones. That will take forever. I can draw seven groups of 10. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, new line, six tens, seven tens. And we are taking away four groups of 10 because there are four tens in the number 40. One, two, three, four. How many tens are left? Three tens are left. What is the value of three tens? You have to count by tens. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. There are 30 berries left. Now, do you have to subtract? No, could you add? Yes, because if you know what your whole and your parts are, you can put them in and label them correctly. We knew that there were 70 berries all together and 40 were given away, which is a part. You could count on from the part you know up to the whole, 40, 50, 60, 70. What is the value of those three 10 sticks? 10, 20, 30. 30 is the value, so you could do 40 plus what equals 70? This is our mystery number. 40, 50, 60, 70. 40 plus 30 equals 70. 